Hello everyone, I'm Ella Liu, a technical support engineer for the Einstar series. Today, I'm very excited to guide you through a full tutorial of Einstar Rocket. So here is our main character. Now, let's get started by getting familiar with the physical design of the scanner. First thing first, you'll notice the scanner is compact and lightweight. The entire housing is ergonomically shaped to fit naturally in your hand, which makes it very comfortable to hold and use over extended periods. Look at the front. This is where the camera's assembly and projectors are located. You'll see two raised rubber strikes on either side of this unit. So, when you want to place the scanner on a clean, flat surface like this desk, I strongly suggest you position the scanner with its face down because the two rubber strikes act as bumpers, creating a slight gap between the table and the critical optics, preventing scratches and damage to the lenses and projectors. However, if your work surface has any bumps, drips, or obstructions, for this situation, we strongly recommend using the universal holder from your accessory kit. Simply sit the scanner securely onto the holder. This will give you a stable, elevated base. Now, flip the scanner over. Here, on the back side, is the battery compartment. Inside, you'll find clear polarity indicators marking the positive and negative terminals. For a correct and safe installation, simply align the batteries so that its logo matches the orientation of these indicators, then press it into place. And that's it! With its user-friendly design, your scanner is now ready for action. Now, let's move on to connecting your scanner to the computer. You have two options here, a wireless connection or a wired one. We will start with wireless. First, ensure the scanner is on by long pressing the middle button on the device body here. You will notice two light stripes on the scanner. The above stripe acts as status indicator. When connecting and scanning, the lower stripe indicates the current power condition. Green means the power is over 50%. Yellow means the power is between 10% to 50%. And red means the power is already under 10%. So when you are conducting connection, the status light on top will flash blue. It means the device is on and in powering mode. Next, open the EXStar Hub software on your computer. From the home page, click the plus button in the upper left corner to open the device connection window. For a wireless connection, look for and select the hotspot that starts with Einstar Rocket to connect your computer to the scanner. The connection is successful once the top indicator light turns into a steady green. A wireless connection is very convenient. However, if you're working in a complex Wi-Fi environment with many networks, we also offered a wired connection solution. This ensures scanning stability and simultaneously charges the scanner's battery. Now, let's try a wired connection. First, I will switch my computer to another standard Wi-Fi network. Then, using the original USB 3.0 cable from the toolkit, connect the scanner directly to my computer. The process is seamless. When the software recognizes the scanner, it will automatically connect to it. You will see the device status change in the AX.Hub hot interface. And that's it for the connection part. Next, we will introduce the calibration operation. With calibration, the scanner's parameters are recalculated, which will not only ensure the accuracy of the scanner, but also improves the scan quality. Calibration is divided into camera calibration and white balance calibration. We recommend that you perform calibration once a week. And of course, if your scanner has experienced significant shaking or vibration, it should also be calibrated. So here are some pre-calibration checks for you. Verify that the calibration board's serial number matches the on-screen display. If using a new board, scan its QR code with the scanner first to sync. When calibrating, simply follow the page animation instructions and here are some other things we want you to pay attention to. 
First of all, the scan should remain parallel to the plane where the calibration board is located and ensure stability during movement and do not operate too quickly. Second of all, if you are having difficulties, try adjusting the camera brightness using the brightness slider on the left side or simply press the plus or minus button on the back of the scanner to adjust the brightness. Lastly, make sure your calibration board is always clean and flawless, well preserved, with no extra markers on the board or on the table. For the white balance calibration, you can choose to point the device at the back side of the calibration board or simply a pure white background is also fine. This calibration step ensures the texture, that is the color information of the scan data, is true to life. Hold steady until the progress bar completes. Once both modules finish, the system updates the latest calibration timestamp. You are now ready to scan, either wirelessly for maximum freedom or wide connection for ultimate stability. Okay, so now we're using the iStar rocket to scan this metal part, and then um, we're using the blue laser mode. So first of all, I have already connected my scanner wirelessly with the PC. So next, I will create a new project group. You can select a, a path to save your project. And confirm, choose laser scan. Uh, and on the left side, there are some settings. So for this one, we are choosing the markers. Okay, so we set the resolution at 0.5 millimeter. We can also choose to switch between 38 lines to seven lines before or during the scanning process. Uh, it's totally up to you. And for this one, uh, since it's a little reflective, we will choose reflective in the scan target section. Okay, and turn on quality indicator. So here we can now uh, press the middle button here to get a preview. Okay, so here you can see um, there is a preview on the computer already. And then you will notice on the back side of the scanner, there are two buttons beside the middle one. Uh, there is a plus button and a minus button. If you just enter this preview section and you click plus, uh, it will zoom in and minus will zoom out. So, so you can uh, modify this preview window based on your needs and then double click the middle button double click the middle power button you will have this you will have this multifunctional window and then choose to click minus or plus to select black and white camera brightness so now you can adjust the light adjust the brightness of the laser lines So until the preview window has slightly reddish, then we are ready to go. So this is us just some preparation during, before the scanning job. And then if everything is set up, press, you can press the middle button again to start scanning. So during scanning, if you want to capture some specific detail from the object, then you can press the middle power button for two seconds and the scanner will smoothly change into the seven parallel lines. So when you're changing to this pattern, uh, make sure that you move a little bit closer yeah, to see the status bar turn into a steady green and this is the proper walking distance. After scanning the front side of the metal part, create a new project and start scanning the back side.
Now we have obtained the front and back of the metal piece. Click on Project Alignment, hold Shift key and click the left mouse button to manually select three or more identical markers on the two projects for assembly. Finally, you will obtain a complete set of engineering data for both the front and back sides. So after you generate the mesh, you can also export the data onto your local computer. So click Save Mesh Locally and you can choose to save it into uh, the format below on your computer or you can directly save, save it and export the mesh for design to EX model for future reverse engineering design. And we also support share your data to Sketchfab as long as you have logged in and then you can directly export this data to your space. And this is the Shiny 3D Digital Cloud. As long as you have logged in into your 3D sh Shiny 3D Digital Cloud, then the data can be transferred to your cloud very fast. So next, we're gonna use Einstar rocket to scan this sculpture using the marker-free laser scanning mode. So for marker-free laser scanning, all we're gonna do is select laser scanned and use the feature alignment mode. So um, for this pattern, there is a prerequisite that is the scan object need to have abundant and non-repetitive geometry feature so as you can see this sculpture perfectly suits this prerequisite so next we will use Einstar rockets marker free laser scanning to scan this sculpture For more detailed instructions, please refer to the user manual. We now can't wait to say what creative projects you come up with using the iStar Rocket. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Wish you keep shining and stay creative.